So what we're taking a look at today is your free offer. Now, the free offer is really, really, really important because this is your initial connection with your prospects and your future customers. Here you're really asking them to trust you. You're asking them to trust you with their phone number, their email address or their name or whatever other details, maybe an address, for example, the pizza industry wants your address because they want to send flyers out to you and also they want to know where you live so they can deliver to you. So the address is most important to them, but you're asking your prospects to trust you with some of their personal details. They're not giving you any money right now, but they're still putting some trust in you in order to ask them to ask you to hold on to some of their personal details. So you are asking them to do something for you. And it's the initial contact you get with your customers, so or with your future customers. So it means that you need to give them something, give them a good reason. You'll see, from the, I don't know if you watched the Domino's video I did recently, but you'll see that Domino's give you really, really good reasons to uh, start you giving them the details. And you'll see a lot of other sites do as well. Now, I did a few searches here, some, some search for Pacific Industries, restaurant industry, taxi industry, and I pulled out some Barack Obama pages because I just like the stuff he's doing as far as squeeze pages are concerned. Now, you're gonna be surprised how many squeeze pages, you probably haven't noticed squeeze pages online before I start talking to them, or maybe you have, but I'm gonna assume that the majority of people watching this video haven't seen squeeze pages before. Not that they're not there, they're all over the web, but just wouldn't have known what they were, so you may find yourself noticing squeeze pages everywhere <laughs> now that you know what they are. So let's take a look at a few of these things. The first thing I want to show you is Living Social. And what we're going to be talking about today is we're going to be talking about your free offer. You have a free offer so that people come in and they trust you with the details initially. So it's this is this is the before they part with any money at all, but you're just getting their details. So I wanted you to take a real quick look. In front of you now, you'll see Living Social, Living Social website. I wanted you to take a really quick look at Living Social. First of all, they're going to ask me where I live. Let's just say Cork, for example. Um, email address. So straight away, you'll see this is a quick squeeze page. Straight away, now, what's great about this page is they just want my details so they can market to me. Their whole business is marketing and sending emails to people. That's how they make every cent they make. Now, what they want, it is a really good squeeze page because you'll see, first, they're only asking me for one thing. Now, there is, there has been tests done on squeeze pages which show that you nearly double your response rate every time you take one field out of the form. So, for instance, if there's only one field, you'll get double the amount of people filling in the form. So they just present me initially with one apps, just one field, where do I live? You'll get a lot of people filling out that form. Then they present me with one more, so they're not overloading me with a whole big form that I have to fill out. That just turns people off. If people see one field, they'll fill it in. Oh, it's another one, they fill that in again. So let's put, just put in here, show at joe.com, not my real email address. But now I've just given them my email address. I've trusted them with my details now. And now I can get in to see the great deals. You'll see these, these guys have, well, these deals are ended here. But they do have deals that are, are, you know, within the price range we were talking about, under 20 euro. So, and and they have it all fit in here, fit it in here. But there's, they do a similar thing with the squeeze page, just as we were talking about. Because look, they have 20 euro deals here. They have deals over 20 euro. And you'll notice that sometimes they have deals of 500 euro as well. And they're finding out where I fit in. You know, will I spend you know two hundred euro on a holiday, or will I spend twenty nine euro on a meal? And they want to find out whereabouts I fit in on their spectrum. So that's, I'm just going to click on escapes here. We we'll just take a quick look. But the important thing I really want to show you here is that live in social. You probably have and Groupon, all the other you know sites similar to this. They live and die by the squeeze page, getting your details. So the more people they have in their database, the more money they make. And um, Groupon obviously are the biggest one of them all and they are the biggest one because they have the biggest database not because their site is better not because they better deals not because there's a different color in the background or not anything like that It's because they have the de biggest database and only because they have the biggest database they know where people are and what their email details are and that's all they need and from that they can go to companies and they can they can take 50 60 percent of what the company is making out of every single deal that's how important your email database is.
Now, I want to show you as a comparison menu pages, which is, I, I believe menu pages is doing okay, but they do a terrible job of getting people's details. I'm, I'm sure they have absolutely no database at all. And you can see here, they've, they've just done a terrible job of getting people's details. There's no details, there's no way for me to give them my details here at all. Now I can do a search, that's great, but the first thing they should be getting is my details. They can, then I can have a very, very specific page shown to me based on what my specific interests are. And they can also email market to me, which is going to make, would make would turn menu pages into an okay site, into a very, very valuable business asset for the people who run it. Now, I brought, I just bring in a few of these sites, and um, they're terrible. They're terrible. They're, you know, you look at the design, maybe the design is okay. I don't think it's okay, but, you know, maybe you're feeling the design is okay. But there's no strategy in this website at all. It's boring. It's home, our menu, function room, outside catering, our gallery, contact. Every other site is exactly the same, and they've no, they haven't thought about strategy at all. Whoever's built this website hasn't thought about the strategy of the website at all. There's no strategy going into this at all. So I want to show you this quickly as an example of what not to do. And there's a few of these. Here's another one, the Wicklow header. There's no strategy at all. There's no thought. It's, it's, an, it's a nice site. It's a beautiful place, the Wicklow header. But there's really no strategy going into this site at all. And they're really not thinking about it what they want from visitors from the site so let's close this down again another one Bates restaurant no strategy I want to spend too long on these uh, websites that they haven't really thought about initially before they created the site all they thought about is what links we want to put in here and what we um what we want in each page but there's no real thoughtful strategy gone into the site before it's being made so it's similar here again Torton's restaurant I probably opened too many of these we don't need to see them. So here's what I just was important because I'm looking at the taxi area now, and this is good, but this is a very, very well professionally designed site. I like this, but you'll see here, and uh, this is quote me taxi.com. You'll see here on the left hand side, this is great, but the form is much too long. They're they're starting to think here, but no one's is people are people going to fill in this form i don't know some people might but most people won't bother so what they really should have done here is similar to what groupon and living social are doing is the first thing they want is to pick up address that's the very first thing they should be looking for email address and pick up address that's the only thing they should ask for possibly postcode um in the uk so or you know where you know us or uk or whatever it happens to be postcode then you've got then you've got their address and what they need is people's addresses, really. And then they can post some stuff out, remarket to them, and I'd be looking for address and email address. But I wouldn't. I would just the first form would be just address or phone number. Second form would be email address, and third form would be trip details. That's the way this should be laid out, and it's laid out completely wrong. But I wanted to show it to you just as an example of a very professionally designed site. They probably put some money into it, but the the thinking isn't just isn't one hundred percent right. It, but it's it's not it's not one hundred percent out either, and um, they are going the right direction. Now, uh, and I just want to show some satellite, uh, some taxi companies who are just again doing completely the wrong thing, and um, I probably shouldn't have. Had these in here that, that quick, but you know they they're really doing the wrong thing. What here's the booking form here, but they should have quick book right on the home page. You know this is obviously going to some other booking system, AutoCab.net, but it looks just looks terrible. And um, let me just go back here. And the home page looks a little bit better. It's not 100% professional, but they you should be able to book right here from the home page. And even if you're using someone else's system, which these guys are. It doesn't matter. You can still take the form details and send them on. If you have a programmer knows what they're doing, they can take the form details from the homepage and send them onto that system. But they should be looking for address or phone number right on the very, very first page. And they, this slider here that's shown that taxis waste of time. They should have something in here. It's very similar to the pizza companies that give them a reason. But you know, you have your taxis and you, all your men standing beside your taxis. Waste a complete waste of time. They should be f focusing not on their taxis and their bloody drivers they should be phoning focusing on their customers and what enticement they can give their customers to put their details in that's going to that's going to turn this website into a business asset and um, but they're not they're absolutely not there at all um here here is an uh, express mini cabs again it's it's just i'm just showing you this it's much too long of a form 
and again they're not looking for details they look for details right at the very very end which is which is it just completely the wrong thing to be doing so um and again this is just an example of a taxi company who just doesn't know what to doing i paid they paid to get me onto the site and they have a phone number which is great they have an email address which is great but what's much more important than their email address is my email address and my phone number that's what they should be worried about not show me there although uh, they should be showing me their phone numbers i think their phone number should be huge on the page because if someone isn't going to fill in their email address you want them to phone you want them to contact you in some way but they should be using more of a squeeze page kind of methodology here instead of what they're doing at the moment and um, again the esplanade hotel you know i think it's good that they have the book online they should have a book online on the um on a home page but what these should do is they should have a competition and, but I have to put in my email address and name at the end of the competition, something like that. The free offers, I'll take you through the free offers in two minutes. Let's just run through these. I want to show you Barack Obama. Now, Barack Obama is someone who knows what he's doing. He's doing it right. Let's see, this is the Barack Obama homepage. Now, in another video, I brought you through Barack Obama homepages for about uh, six or seven years. And they've always been the same. They've always been different, but the strategy has always been the same. It's always email and zip. In America, obviously, zip is important. In Ireland, we won't be looking at SIP, but just the, the, what the Pacific fields are looking for isn't important. The important is the strategy behind it. The strategy behind it is he's come in. Are you still fired up? President Barack Obama, this is August. Make sure your members of Congress hear from you loud and clear on the issues you care about most. Pledge to take action. And he wants your email. When he is, he, that email details, I don't think he's going to be going for a president again. But those email details are going to be really, really, really important for him. And the one thing I wanted to show you is he's clicking them on his personal site. He's not doing it on WhiteHouse.gov, White House which is very interesting. This is WhiteHouse.gov, all about Barack Obama again. But he's not, look, he's not collecting details here because when he wants to collect people's details, he knows that's really valuable. He's not going to give it to the White House. He wants to hold it on his own personal database. So he's collecting on his own personal site. Now, there's a lot of companies who want to do something like this. They want to have their squeeze page on one domain and have a more informational site on another domain. That's absolutely fine. But you've got to have one that's squeezing details out of the, the visitor. And that's the one that's going to be more valuable to you at the end. So let me just close down Barack Obama. Um, this is one. I want to show this. This is taxis. And I wanted to show this because these are quite good. They have a huge phone number. Call us now to book a taxi. Huge phone number. Brilliant. They also have registered users book online which is great as well but why do I have to click in here to book online why can I, and why can I not push my and these guys are using some sort of um, system again which is not their own and um, but why can I not put my phone number and password in on the home page why can I not register in the home page and put my phone number in directly there um, I should be able to do that I should be able to put in my phone number and then go to the next page password next page name and I'm um, I'm a registered member. I would even suggest that they should run some sort of competition or something like that in order just to get people onto their database. But we'll leave that for now. So let's, um, and let me see, yeah, Galway Taxes, just showing this as an example of what not to do again. Again, they have the phone number huge at the top, which is brilliant, that's good. But what's the what's the dashboard for? What 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 strategy is behind showing me a dashboard and, and a car driving? Um, waste of time again. So just want to show you that as a as as what not to do. Now what I want to take you through very very quickly is the free offer because this is what this video is about. Although I want to show you those websites just at the start, but the free offer your free offer is going to be a way for you to connect with your customers initially. Now you'll see the free offer that Groupon and Living Social do is they're going to give really really good deals. You know under twenty euro, and um, but you need to give them their details in order to 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 avail of those offers so you're not going to get one of those offers unless you give them your details so you're basically going to have to give your where you live in what city and your email address and that's all they want they've got they, they have that they have your attention that's fine so you can do that give a very very cheap deal which is you know under 20 euro and um, that's one way you know I, I know I'm calling it a free offer but you can mix, mix and match these things the important thing is that you get details of the people who are visiting your website another way to do it another great way to do it is a competition so you have a competition you're doing something free you give them 50% off you give them 20% off whatever you're doing but something that will entice people in to um, put their details into your database 
and you, then you can remarket to them. Now, the, the way to remarket to them is if you've got their email address, you can set up an email marketing campaign, very easy. And another way to do it, of course, is if you have their phone number, you can text them. Um, and for some people who have a little bit more money to spend, like the pizza companies, if you get their address, you can start sending them out, out flyers from the local pizza shop or whatever it happens to be. So that's your free offer. So the, just to run through the, the things you can offer again, there's uh, obviously the competition. There's coupons that you can give, you know, a, a certain percentage off or something like that. There's a very, very special deal, which is under 20 euros, very, very cheap, that will get people just to enter your database. And anything we anything really else, anything that you can think of to entice people to fill in a form on your homepage or on your squeeze page, even if it's, if it's on a different domain, so that they'll give you their details. But the important thing here is that you want people to give you their details. Now, that is the free offer where people are coming in and they are giving their details initially. In the next video, I'm going to bring you through the low-cost offers and the mid-range offers. Um, which you which you are going to be squeezing through through the people, leaving the people behind who are not willing to spend any money, and squeezing down to your next level of your funnel, the people who will spend some money, and that's the next video. But thanks a lot for watching this video. I do appreciate it. And it's been Alan here from Killer Website Strategy and Irish Web Solutions.